Hello. Good night, everyone. Thank you for participating in the Speed Home webinar tonight. And tonight we're having uh, Joanna Tan uh, from FIS Management to talk about uh, how you can save your loan uh, up to uh, 35 to 75 percent. So uh, I can see that uh, there's a lot of people already coming in and I will expect more. Lah. So let's uh, wait while, while waiting for the other participants to come in. Uh, let me play some uh, video first. What happens was uh, through this process of uh, insurance claiming. Secondly, it's on the damages that we have uh, been trying to claim, and uh... Hello, hello. Good night, everyone. So I saw that actually there's a lot of participants coming in already. And let's see, we have who? We have Adam, we have uh, Alex Lee, we have uh, Chong Ken Sien. Can you guys uh, type a hi in the, in the chat box? Because uh, uh, as a speaker uh, in this webinar, we always uh, talk to the screen. So we hope that uh, perhaps uh, if you guys can uh, be more engaging and uh, type something in the in the chat box to be more proactive. Okay, hi, 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 Vincent Tan, hi, we Wagner, hi, Kevin, hi, John, hi, Hitler. Okay, so by tonight, we actually uh, invited uh, the guest speaker from uh, FIS Management. Uh, she's uh, Joanne Tan, 
and she's very experienced in this in this kind of uh, mortgage loan service which uh, she has over 12 years of experience as a senior in BRR management and 30 years in, in marketing and sales so that, uh, if you guys have any uh, question or some issues with your loan you actually can ask during the webinar and then uh, we'll compile the question and then uh, we'll answer all the questions at the back uh, at, at the end of the webinar so uh, Jen Tan, uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself to our uh, attendees in this webinar? Uh, hi, yeah, I'm uh, Joanna Tan. Uh. Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, very good evening to all the uh, audience. And uh, I'd start now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. I'd like to introduce uh, about, uh, perhaps about a, a little bit about uh, FS management and why you follow up uh, this company. Okay, so uh, a very good evening to all audience uh, tonight. Uh, and then uh, I would like to thank you first. Uh, I thank you uh, Speed Home for inviting me tonight so that I can have the chance to uh, meet all of you. Okay, so I would like to thank you Mr. Tan also for introducing me. Uh, so I uh, already know that I'm a Joanna Tan from uh, FIS uh, Management. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, maybe I uh, can uh, show you some uh, of my, uh, uh, because I think that tonight, uh, most of you all will be, uh, uh, most of you all will be our this uh, investor and the uh, landlord and the uh, property owners, you know, and loan borrowers. Uh. So basically, I think uh, most of you all see uh, the topic that I say uh, can save up to 75% of your loan interest and channel. It might be uh, just, uh, it's uh, too good to believe, isn't it? Yeah, uh, but I can actually uh, let you know that through our experience uh, 10 years ago, in fact, more than 10 years ago, uh, many people, when we, we tell them that we have the service that we can help them to uh, reduce the interest and the channel, but they say it's too good to believe. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but uh, uh, until now, 10 years later now, uh, it has been uh, over thousands of uh, subscribers here and they have already uh, benefited from here. Okay. So uh, maybe let me uh, do some sharing on the these uh, uh, some of my uh, this company. I can give a brief introduction on my company. Uh, yeah, let me uh, share the screen ah. <clears throat> the wall, ah. uh, So the screen is still loading. Uh, let's wait for a while. Okay, so uh, I will just uh, leave the floor to uh, Joanna Tan to introduce about uh, FIS management and how the landlords uh, in Speed Home and then uh, the client from FIS management uh, can set up their loan up to uh, 75%. Okay. Mm, yeah, so tonight this is our topic. Huh? But before we go to this topic, so I uh, just give uh, some free uh, introduction, uh, a brief introduction on our FIS. So FIS meaning that is a future interest solution. Uh, so uh, normally every week, so we also have the talks uh, from previously, and then but we always giving the publics on the awareness. Uh, but besides awareness, uh, FIS also provide uh, solutions, solutions to help our loan borrowers to solve the problems of their loans. And the FIS is already established uh, since uh, 2014, but myself has, has been in this field for more than uh, 12 years. All right. So uh, with these 12 years, we have already uh, services, uh, so, so uh, more than 1,000 uh, subscribers, uh, as I said earlier. Huh? So uh, here, we are already a one-stop solution and center for all the bank loans uh, borrowers. As, I, as you all can see that uh, normally when we buy a property, and uh, after paying for, let's say, for example, uh, 30 years, 35 years, huh? and then you find that uh, the, the, the interest that we pay is already uh, 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 equivalent to uh, the property that we purchase. And then uh, 
understand that our service can help uh, that's why uh, i'm inspired to service all those uh, uh, loan borrowers and hence uh, we started fis and then uh, we have uh, three packages on our these uh, loan so that we can help our client to uh, significantly reduce their loan channel by 30 percent 50 percent and 75 percent and it's also customized and our team of a professional uh, a mortgage a consultant and uh, their mission is to help the, our property owners to overcome the fluctuating interest rate because normally uh, when we take a loan from the uh, a bank and then uh, we write uh, we get the we sign in the letter of offer and then uh, uh, normally that uh, they what they written down uh, our borrower have already signed is actually a uh, daily rest interest right so daily rest interest and uh, but uh, with the fluctuating market how are we going to save our interest that is uh, really a, a very big topic isn't it yeah we have uh, many many clients uh, they have already uh, uh, dump in money they have already uh, randomly uh, uh, put in money also but eventually uh, some of them their, their outstanding balance is becoming higher and higher yeah so over these uh, uh, few years in the this uh, industry we have actually have uh, more than uh, 8000 subscribers uh, in our office uh. yeah uh, they are either uh, uh, within the country nationwide and the uh, foreign country we have already go over to this uh, 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 include this uh, uh, middle east uh, uh, indonesia singapore and uh, Dubai, right? So these are all our clients. Uh. And we have already uh, conducted uh, many uh, these uh, big and small seminars and uh, these are uh, like uh, corporate talks, condominiums, and those are uh, like uh, uh, property field and uh, also uh, these are uh, investor clubs yeah and these are all the talks and we also conduct uh, this is our two-day training we also conduct a two-day training in our office okay now after uh, showing all these uh, a brief introduction on our company so that you have a rough idea what fis is doing yeah so nowadays we go to this uh, tonight's topic i will bring you to this tonight's topic that uh, how are we going to help our borrowers to save up to 75% of their loan interest and the channel. Now, by the way, when we uh, sign up the uh, letter of offer, right, the loan channel is long. It may be uh, 10 years, it may be 35 years, or it may be uh, 40 years, you see. So are you prepared for the rising interest rate? Meaning that along the way, your tenure is so long, whether that the interest it can be fluctuate or not. Yeah, so this is quite an important knowledge to know for our loan borrowers because these are all our money. And uh, we can see that the clauses also say the Bank of Grand Malaysia also give us uh, saying that uh, also note that uh, your monthly repayment may increase substantially when your interest rate goes up. Yeah, so this already written down in our letter of offer and also different financial institution may have different terms and conditions imposed on prepayment. Please check your loan package. So every individual, their loan package is different from uh, uh, one another. So we must check, okay? So there are possible ways that we have already tried. Okay, now our clients are uh, on this part, uh, this part, the yellow color one, actually they top up randomly. Uh, we have uh, so many clients, they top up randomly. Maybe per month, uh, their payment uh, installment is uh, 1,005, but uh, they may uh, uh, opt to pay only uh, 2,000. Uh, they top up 500 and some they may uh, top up to 1,008, uh, some even more, okay? And some of our clients, they also choose to pay bi-weekly, meaning that, okay, every month I top up 
that is uh, you ask me to pay two thousand, I pay four thousand, or as you ask me to pay one thousand five, I pay one thousand five for two weeks. Another two weeks, I pay one thousand five. So one month, I pay three thousand. Okay, and another one, uh, this portion, okay, is also part of our customer whereby they pay lump sum. They do lump sum payment, meaning that maybe uh, at the end of the uh, a year maybe we got a bonus or uh, last time uh, before mco we got a bonus and all that all right so they got the lump sum money then they thought that uh okay i just pay but when they pay in the lump sum the thing is that how much they save and eventually all these of thing what we thought is all facts it will appear in your uh this uh, loan statement all right so your loan statement will clearly shows that how much you pay and how much it went to your uh, this uh, principal portion. Uh, let me show you. Okay, now this is one of the uh, financial institutions. Uh, the uh, our clients' uh, uh, statement. Okay, now before he pay, before he make payment every month. Uh, now our customer is all very good paymaster. Every one of them, they pay by sending instruction, they pay using the auto debit. So definitely there is a money there and it's very prompt payment. Now, be this customer of mine, before he pay, the outstanding balance is 161,692, all right? Then after he make a total payment of 3,400, 3740 all right then he find that uh, his outstanding balance uh he still have maintained at 160447 and 21 cent now just look at this uh, 161000 or 600 minus 160400 is almost 1002 goes into the principal portion but exactly this customer of mine he has already made a payment of three thousand four so question is what is the the other two third of the uh, uh uh money goes to all right so there is some click click here isn't it right so another customer of mine this is the m bank and i suppose in the statement you see that this one it should be a flexi loan right so the outstanding balance before he make a payment is 204991 Now, after paying for 35563 uh, 44 cents, we find that his outstanding balance is becoming higher. Okay, now the total he pay is 35500 how come that uh, in the end of the month, how come the outstanding balance, it becomes higher than the original one? So these are all the uh, symptoms, all the, the, the different uh, factors that affected his uh, loan, uh, this uh, interest. Now here, I would like to show a real case to you. Now this real case, this one is from this bank and the customer signed in the year 2011, February 18. He take a total loan amount is 1.237 million 500 and uh, the BRR at that time is a 6.3. So minus the spread rate 2% uh, 2 so 6.3% minus 2%. His effective rate, the interest rate is only 4. 3% is very low, 4.3% huh? normal. Huh? Okay, and the channel is 360 months. So every month, how much he pay in the letter of offer there, he need to pay uh, a monthly repayment, 6,125. Now, he take the loan uh, in 2011, and then his uh, first installment date is on the 1st of May, 2013. So up to 2018, when he come to our office, is already paid 68 months. He has already paid for the installment. And uh, within this 68 months, there are 10 months whereby he received a letter in the year 2018, March. Okay, okay. The, he received a letter saying that his uh, repayment need to be increased to 7,274. And this is for 10 months he's paying this amount. Now, this is the 
uh, statement, all right, that shows that in the 2017, all right, his uh, beginning my balance uh, is already 1.26 million 440 24 cents. But uh, by, by right, uh, he take the loan amount is only 1.237 million. It's already increasing, isn't it? All right, so 2017, 2018, when he comes to our office at this stage, the ending balance, uh, after paying for 68 months, uh, he actually, there is an outstanding balance shows uh, in his uh, loan statement, there is actually an outstanding balance of 1.234,908,52 cents. Okay, so let's uh, do a simple calculation on this metal. Now, Mr. A scenario, I make a simple calculation. His uh, tenure is 30 years. Okay, so he take a mortgage loan of uh, 1.237 million and 500, as we mentioned earlier, and he make a total repayment of 6,125 for 58 months, okay, and 7,274 for 10 months. So for this total, he make, uh, total he make to the, his uh, lender, is 427,990. But the thing is, when we double check on his loan amount versus his outstanding balance, we find that uh, only 2,551 and 48 cents is reduced, meaning that it's only paid to the principal. And that is after five and the six years. You see, but total how much he pay? The total payment he make is four hundred and twenty seven thousand. So minus the two five nine one, he actually where is the four hundred and twenty five thousand? Okay, so this is not one of the borrowers. Huh? Is uh, most of the time we see our customers every day. Most of them they are facing the same problem is either that this is a uh, hundred over thousand two hundred over thousand or maybe six hundred over thousand it may be more also so this is one of the uh we can say that uh is the one of the case lah. okay uh? mm. now here i would like to show you uh, 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 one of the credit report uh, these are uh, uh, secrets uh, that uh, our customer our customer in the year 2012, he take a loan. He take a loan uh, from his uh, lender. The loan amount is 245,758 ringgit. And then uh, he take in the year two, he signed in the year 2012, August. All right. So his uh, monthly repayment is 1,404. Okay, so in the year 2019, January, when he come to our office, the outstanding balance he showed us is 245,092 ringgit. Okay, so we do a same thing also. We do a comparison on this loan amount and the existing uh, uh, current outstanding amount uh, at that time. So, Total payment he has made to the bank is already uh, 108,108 ringgit. Because why? Every month 1,404 and he has already served for 77 months. So the total he make, he make the payment is already uh, 108,108 ringgit. All right. But we compare the loan amount that he take uh, in 2012 and the outstanding balance in 2019 so the difference uh, after for how many years huh? 77 months is 6.5 years huh? is only 666 pay to the principal so but he in actual fact he has already made 108,000 108 ringgit that's why most of the customer, if they didn't sit down, if they didn't come to our office, they didn't sit down. Uh, they not realize that oh, I have already paid so much. Like just now, the four hundred and fifty something thousand. Uh, he can actually buy a condominium cash. Uh, 
So when I aware, I give the awareness. When I talk, I I I I I, I highlighted the this uh, question to him, and he got a shock. Oh yeah, I actually I can buy a a, a condo cash already. Yeah, in fact, many of our uh uh, uh loan borrowers, many of our they are very good at pay master. So in fact, most of the money you just need to do a proper manage on your loan. When your loan is a proper managed already, so you can see that this hundred and eight thousand, yeah, you need to pay is only fifty four thousand, okay. And the tenure, ah, uh, that you need to use is only three point two five year. If you are using our method of uh, paying, we will be we will let you ah uh, save half of fifty percent of your interest money. And fifty percent of your loan tenure will be shortened. So here, I would like to show you another from Bank Negara the credit report. Yeah. So this uh, also same thing. Now, our client in two thousand and fourteen September, ah, uh, he is taking a loan amount of five hundred and seventy eight thousand. Okay, five hundred and seventy eight thousand. So every month he pay the monthly repayment is two thousand eight hundred and twenty seven. So in the year April two thousand and nineteen, ah, uh, the the uh, year before last year, ah, uh, his outstanding he showed to us ah uh, is ah uh, five hundred and seventy nine thousand four hundred and twenty one. How come ah? Uh, because why he take. The loan is only two hundred, ah, five hundred and seventy-eight thousand. How come after paying for so many years, ah, two thousand fourteen to two thousand nineteen, how come his outstanding is becoming higher? So we do a simple calculation from him. For him, okay. Now the total payment he pay to his ah financial institution. Is actually hundred and fifty five thousand four hundred eighty five because every month he's paying two thousand eight hundred twenty seven, and uh, he has already made fifty five months. He paid about fifty five months. So in the year two thousand fourteen September, his loan amount only five hundred and seventy eight thousand. After paying for hundred fifty five thousand four hundred eighty five, then he find that his outstanding balance in two thousand nineteen April is five hundred and seventy nine thousand four hundred and twenty one. Now, so after four years and seven months, ah, uh, he still the outstanding balance is higher, higher by how much? One thousand four hundred and twenty one, meaning that the beginning. Ah, uh, the previously he paid for hundred and fifty five thousand. Where is it? The five hundred and fifty five thousand goes to where? And then now his outstanding balance become a uh, higher and higher. Okay, so what happened if this thing that happened to us, one of of us, meaning that is our money, isn't it? Because our lender they won't charge us at this figure only. All right, it will be calculated as a daily rest interest. And it will calculated as a compounded interest. So if there is only one hundred ringgit, what happened to your loan? Yeah, that's why it's a very important. Like most of our client in the beginning, they thought that okay, it's a merely on it's only on calculation. I also can do it now. Many of my clients and that I'm facing ah, they actually have this type of mindset. Because they thought that okay, I can see the outstanding balance. I can see the the statement. Nah, I just need to dump in some money, and definitely my loan will be reduced. But the thing is, how come the our customer it later come to see us and then see that their outstanding balance become higher? Some they even uh 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 like just now I say they top up randomly or they top up bi weekly. Some even they put in lump sum. What happened? Now later I will show you because due to what factor, okay? Yeah. So there are many factors. It's not so surface. If you look at the surface, that is like this, and the calculation is like this, is totally wrong. I can assure you because I have seen so many of our customer they dump and they come into this type of a problem. Now here I would like to show you uh, another real case whereby that he dumped in quite a lot of money. Yeah, this client of mine. 
okay i happen to the uh, uh do his loan uh find out his uh, cases here huh? okay so he take this loan from the main bank is 2014 this client of mine we make it we say that uh, mr uh, 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 Mr. A lah, huh? okay. Huh? He take in the loan in 2014 April. The loan amount is 1.3 million and 30,000 lah. 1.3 million, and then uh, his uh, interest rate uh, is a B, uh, uh, BRR rate is a uh, 6.6 .6 at that time he signed 2014 huh? So minus BRR. 2.45 percent so his interest rate is only 4.15 percent at that time is considered quite low so on the daily rest for 264 months meaning that 22 years ah, okay so it's a quite a short term only ah, 22 years all right so this is the statement that he received ah, that his loan amount is 1.3 million and then uh, here is the money that he put in is 1.1 million and the outstanding balance is very low okay and then in between you can see that uh, 590 out and the 450,000 out and then the uh, 100,000 out and then he put in another 250,000 and the 100,000 out and then this is the outstanding balance okay in the beginning all right okay so he's supposed to pay uh, this for this package he's supposed to pay for 22 years uh, his uh, monthly installments should be 7,691 so let's see what happened uh, when he dumped in a lot of money let's see what happened yeah uh, some uh, technical uh, this uh, I have to put down there Okay, so in 2019, this customer of mine, he withdraw another 200,000 from his account. Okay, then his uh, outstanding balance is uh, lower. Okay, then after that, 2019 and 2020, the loan segment, he take out another 191,000. All right, so his outstanding now is about 1.1 million. Okay, what happened at this time? Okay, he screenshot and the, this is the online uh, and then the 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 his uh, lender uh, already changed his uh, monthly installment amount to five thousand and fifty-two ringgit. Uh, he's supposed to pay seven thousand six hundred and seventy something lah. Okay, but then now he pay only five thousand and fifty-two ringgit. Uh okay in the march huh? all right so what happened is that but due to his uh, payment is low now this is our estimated payment report from fis okay now our estimated payment uh, report shows that his uh, loan amount is 1.330 million at the rate are uh, only 3.7 percent so lower now because last year the interest rate is very low and uh, his uh, repayment now it becomes 5052 all right so his outstanding balance last year march 2020 31st uh, is 1.129 million 995 and 35 cents okay so his original loan channel is 264 months 22 years and his number of installment paid he has already paid for 68 uh, months okay so this customer of mine he remaining number of uh, installment payable supposed to left only 196 months but very sorry no? when our estimated payment report come up uh, his loan has been adjusted to extra extended 185 months almost 15 years and five months 180 months is a 15 years 15 years and five months already so he only if he want to finish his loan uh, he need to pay 381 months then only can finish his loan but after fis uh, 50 percent uh, package servicing for him uh, so the remaining period he need to pay is only 100 and 
185 months. We adjusted his tenure to 185 months and we managed to help him to save 196 months. And he's a saving on interest. Uh, one, his outstanding balance is 1.129 million. So his uh, interest is 791,303 at 80 cents. But FIS package, 50% uh, package is able to help him to save 395,651.90. Okay, but customer need to pay how much only? The monthly installment range for him is only 5,140. And the highest to pay is only 10,682.98. That is upon the 185 months, the last month that he pay is a 10,000. 682 all right so this is the highest that he paid only but we have already shortened his channel and the interest that he reduced uh, significantly the the channel also reduced uh, all right so this is the uh, uh case that we a real case that we do to him now this is our fis uh service after uh, we provide this, uh, 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 after provide the EPR, then uh, upon the customer, okay, then we provide a ledger to him. Now, this is the ledger where we show him that uh, the year one, okay, he need to pay to the bank how much, huh? he need to pay his lender, total payment for one year, uh, you see, you can see that every month our payment is uh, different, huh? okay, so his uh, total payment for one year is uh, 64000 Okay, 335, but total payment to principal is 23,000 only, beginning of the year. But after adjusted, we no need to pay for how, how, how long is the tenor originally? Okay, 381. But we pay 381 is almost more than uh, 30, 30 years. Uh, uh, 40 months, 35 years. Huh? So this is about 30 years, 32 years like that. Lah. Okay, so after our service, huh, he paid for how long? He paid for only 16 years. And we can, we, our ledger will show that he's a total payment for 43,000 on that year, but total payment to principal also 43,000. Meaning that what FIS to do is, uh, we will teach you, we will guide you to pay your amount correctly, but paying, uh, we also ask you to top up, but top up correctly, accurately, then your money pay to the principal. Ah, it's not that we pay to the interest, you know? So it's a different way, yeah? Okay, now, uh, last year, due to last year, there is a six month moratorium, uh, okay? So there is a, an uncertainty uh, that we call, uh, so, uh, uh, normally, uh, after our service, if the, the loan tenure is so long, it becomes so short, and then within this uh, shorter period, if there is uh, interest fluctuate above 0.5%, we will need to do a readjustment. At this time, like last year, to, uh, 20, uh, uh, 2020, yeah, uh, year 2020, the interest rate within one year has already reduced how much? Uh, 1%. So 1%, uh, meaning that the customer normally need to do the adjustment. But due to our customer, they doesn't uh, 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 opt into the this uh, six month moratorium. He still continue to pay, yeah. And uh, we check for him on the last year December end of the year. Okay, this is our ledger that we produce to him. Now FIS outstanding balance, uh, we we give him is uh one point one million, meaning that he follow our ways to pay, and then he pay more you can see that the principle is increasing because we teach the customer to pay more, but exactly pay to the principle. Okay, so 1.113 million, but versus when he checked with the bank outstanding balance, huh, this is the bank uh, outstanding balance the uh, uh, statement uh, in the end of the year, last year. Okay, so this is the outstanding balance uh, we write here. Huh? So this is the outstanding balance. And you can see that uh, the bank's outstanding balance is uh, lower than our ledger at this time. Normally, it's higher, but at this time, it's uh, lower. That's why here, uh, we show to our client that besides we help our client to shorten their tenure by almost 16 years, 
to help them to save their interest money also about 300 over thousand then we also helping our client to gain on 5000 ringgit and 91 and 43 cent on principal reduction yeah so our customer besides okay they are uh, already benefited from the 50% of a uh, 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 reduce in the uh, interest money and the channel also, he also gained an extra 5,000. So 99% of my client, they gain either 5,000, 6,000, 1,000 or 3,000 or 2,000. Different cases, uh, different uh, 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 type of uh, this uh, analysis. Lah. Yeah, so this is the one thing that we feel uh, uh, very, very happy to our client because why? Uh, moratorium last year is a, a lifetime only last year one time only we never faced this type of thing before and uh, when we check on this we actually feel very happy to our client this is a proven that even though uh, using our system to do and even though the cut the, the interest rate uh, reduced by one percent but our accuracy rate uh, is still remain at 99.54 percent now why is it that this 99.54% is so very important? So it's actually helping our client uh, to reduce and uh, prevent their loans, uh, uh, this uh, uh, tenor being extended. Uh, the, so this is the thing that we let our customer know that uh, they actually are going at the right track with the, uh, this uh, lender. Okay. Now, here i would like to explain uh, just now the case uh. okay so this is the uh, before fis uh, before fis uh. okay before fis all right uh, the outstanding balance is 1.129 million 995 just now the case uh. so the remaining tenor if uh, is 196 month okay but the money repayment has already adjusted to 5052 ringgit at the rate only the interest rate only 33.7 percent now let's say if the customer uh, he didn't meet our fis advisor to advise them what to do you know what happened now already his loan has been extended to 185 months remember just now the this uh on the this slide yeah his loan has already extended 185 months Okay, so his uh, total now is 381 months. Huh? Now, so the loan extended for 185 months, huh? meaning that do you need to make payment or not? When your loan extended one month, your installment is 2,000, you also need to pay 2,000, huh? correct? So this one is 185 months, and then he's uh, paying 5,052, meaning that if he didn't meet our advisor to advise him, meaning that he need to pay an extra this portion, 934,620. Yeah. The extended portion, this is the portion, this is the interest that he need to pay. And his loan will be from, okay, 196 months extended to 185 months, it becomes 381 months before FIS. Okay, before our services. Huh? Now, after taking our services, after FIS, the outstanding is 1.129 million 995. His uh, remaining tenure has already extended. So we have to check, we have to calculate out correctly, all right, that he's the correct man. So he's the correct man now, it should be 381. Okay, we must see the status of the loan. That this is the status of the loan at that time when he submitted, he need to pay 385 81 month. So he monthly installment is 5052 at the rate 3.7%. So we help him to reduce the channel 196 month. So this is the scenario whereby the interest function here is a safe for how how much? 395,000, right? Just now we said we have him to save the interest 395,000 and uh, his uh, remaining channel, it left only 185. So we drag back his uh, uh, in his uh, channel to around uh, 15 uh, around 15 years. 
uh, 15 years and 5 months. Uh. So this is our service we are helping our client. Uh. So at this time, maybe you will be curious, you know, and uh, maybe you have a question on that. So you can write on the chat box. I will answer to you later. Yeah. So cause of the problem. What are the cause of the problem? So it might be due to the interest fluctuation, the BLR, or now they call it BR, the base rate fluctuation, or it may be caused by the defaults, the customer paid, maybe uh, late, or delayed the payment, or, or paid late, or uncertainties. And many a times, those uncertainty is the thing that is an unpredictable incident that we can't predict. Like just for example, uh, like last year, 2020, the six month moratorium is suddenly, oh, there is a COVID-19 and then the, the, the government just suddenly create up with the six month moratorium. So isn't it is an uncertainties already? And you can find that many people is auto opt in and uh, in the end of the day, after the October last year, they can uh, see that their outstanding balance becoming higher and higher. Okay, so we have uh, some of our, our clients, they are actually chartered accountant. When the three years ago, when we uh, um, actually shared with him uh, that uh, our service, uh, this is our service, um, but due to his uh, chartered accountant, he will uh, tell us that uh, he would like to try on his uh, methods. After that, uh, this year, he has already uh, submitted the, these uh, uh, cases to us because why? when he received the statement, he see that his outstanding balance is even higher. Uh, so these are the problems. Uh, that's why our customer, they must experience all this. But when they experience all this, there is uh, so much of their interest have already lost, either six months or sometimes three years, or sometimes four years. And I have a customer also. 12 years ago, he take the loan is 120,000. So very uh, good paymaster. All our clients, they are all very good paymaster. Every month he pay for 1,038 ringgit. Then after pay for 12 years. So just imagine one year, uh, one month, 1,000. If you pay for 12 years, 144 months, it will be 144,000. But he take the loan is 120,000 only. How come uh, 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 in the year he come to us, 2018, his outstanding balance uh, become 121,000. That's why when you sign the loan, all right, the letter of offer, there are so many, there are different clauses and the terms and conditions. So all these uncertainties and all these infrastructuration, uh, all this, it will causes that your interest that you need to pay you need to pay more uh, so you have to take into consideration that's why uh, when our customer come to us we will call it uncertainties because uh, there are so many things that incurred uh, so we call it uncertainties yeah. now here i would like to show you the history of the prr in the year 2009 2009 to 2020 last year now, for the past 10 years, uh, you can see that uh, 2009 to 2019, that the interest rate has been already gone up, okay? Because uh, in 2009, the interest rate is only 5.55%, but in 2019, it actually, the interest goes up to 6.9%, which means at these 10 years, during these 10 years, the interest has already gone up to 1.35%. Now, if you maybe uh, tonight, you didn't uh, join my uh, seminar here, maybe you are talking that 1.3% uh, uh, is just a little money, but uh, you must be aware that your loan size, uh, if it is a 100,000, so 1%, you can say that, oh, so not much lah, maybe a few hundred, uh, maybe a uh, uh, less than a hundred thousand. But what happened if your loan is a uh, because we are staying in KL, you know, minimum economy medium also half a million. What happened if your loan is a one million? So if your loan is a one million, if increased by one percent, uh, how much is your, how much you need to pay? Is the impact, you know? Now, 
increase by 1%, I can close my eyes. Remember just now I mentioned about the extension of the tenno. Let's say ten, extension for 10 years. Uh. 10 years is 120 months. Uh. Let's say, for example, per month you are serving, you are paying an installment of 1,000. So for 120 months, uh, you need to pay extra 120,000 on these 10 years alone, you know. Ah, what happened that if your loan is a uh, one million, oh, then your uh hundred and twenty thousand that at the back there you increase one zero, it become one point two million. Then how? Isn't it? It's your hard earned money, right? So, uh, all these things have to take into consideration because these are all our money. And then, in two thousand twenty, when the interest goes up to six point four percent, and significantly last year's the interest dropped by 1%. Now, in 2019 to 2020, there is a reduce of 1.25%. Now, it takes 10 years to increase the interest, but within one year, it reduced like this. Yeah, so will you think that the, the other two years or three years later, will the interest go up again? Whatever comes down, it will go up. Whatever go up, it will come down again. So is there any risk to your loan? If you do not have a proper manage on it, what happened? When the interest fluctuates, you need to pay more, isn't it? The costs already clearly stated. Yeah. So what is the FIS solution? Okay. Now, uh, since uh, last year, uh, 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 the interest rate goes, up, goes down by 1%, I have the client whereby he take our service and then I will take his case to show you. Uh. Now, in 2019, all right, his uh, loan amount, he, when he passed to us, is 645,555. And his uh, loan channel is 420 months. The effective rate is 4.22% originally when he subscribed our service. Huh? And his monthly repayment is 2,945. Mm -hmm. So from here, we already calculated out that his uh, total interest payable is 590,993 ringgit. All right. But in the year 2000, uh, in the year 2020, his loan amount, we have to be able to ever compare. Huh? So same loan amount, same channel, and the interest rate now has already gone down by 1%, reduced by 1%. Now. So he received a letter from the lender asking him to pay two or, uh, 2565 And from here, we do a calculation. The total interest he need to pay, uh, it will be only 431493 So meaning that when the interest reduced by 1%, his uh, interest saving is 159,500. He also saved because interest go down, right? But uh, his eternal remain how long? 420 months. Even though he reduced the ten, he reduced the, the, the payment and the interest also reduced by 159,000, uh, but he still have to pay 420 20 months, meaning 35 years. Let's see what happened. Now, he has already subscribed our uh, FIS 50% uh, package saving. Uh. So in 2019, all the things the same. Uh. So this is the same column. Yeah. So in 2020, 2020 all right, his, uh, loan, um, uh, his uh, loan interest has already reduced to 3.22%. So significantly, there is a reduce of 1%. Uh. So our payment method, FIS payment method, we're asking him to pay 2,585 to the highest of 5,315 only. Okay, so from here, we do the calculation. We're actually asking him to pay only 215,746 interest money to the lender, you know? And uh, how much uh, we can help him to reduce uh, his uh, interest rate reduced by 1%, uh, our, his uh, total saving of uh, interest is actually 375,246 and 39 cents versus the original if you follow strictly to the lender's instruction. So you can see the difference uh, because we pay lesser. He pay more interest, we pay lesser interest, yet our channel remain at 205 months only. Okay, so it's almost about 16 years 
uh, like that, lah, 16 or 17 years like that. Lah. Uh, see, it's only about 205 months versus the 420 months. So this is the uh, difference. Lah. So after FIS service, we pay 205 months only. We help him, we pay the interest only 215,000 only. See the difference? Yeah. Okay. So normally our customer will ask us what type of uh, document that you want. So the document that we need is actually your letter of offer because each and individual, your letter of offer is different. Yeah. So your letter of offer, we need to study and the latest loan statement. And then after collecting uh, uh, some of these uh, document, then we will come up with the estimated payment report. So from this estimated payment report, we'll be able to provide for you. We will calculate and uh, we give an estimation on the your loan will be extended, the status of your loan, whether it will be extended or it will be uh, shortened, shortened by how many months? And if it is extended, extended by roughly how many months? And the total interest is how much and how much of the interest that we will be able to help you to save. All right. And most important thing is that we give you a payment range. Now, this payment range will significantly show that maybe now you are paying 2000 After FIS service, huh, we are asking you to pay uh, uh, starting from 2200 and uh, uh, yours is a 30 years, ours is a 15 years only. So the 15 years you will pay, uh, the highest is about 4,000. No? So this is the payment range that we will work out for you. Lah. Okay, all right. And uh, upon the customer, they are agree with the, uh, 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 agree with the situation like this. They feel that uh, you are comfortable to pay and all this. So they will request uh, us to proceed and we'll come up with the ledger. And this is the, our FIS uh, ledger. So inside the ledger, we will, let you uh, uh, clearly stated to you every month. Uh, you need to pay how much, all right? How much you pay and uh, what is the date to pay? Sometimes your date might be wrong. So if your date is a wrong date, we need to adjust for you. So that is one is a very important. There's all your money, all right? So we have to find out the, the correct date to pay, the correct amount to pay, and the methods how to pay, how to pay to your lender yeah because there are methods some uh, are different yeah mm. so about our fis management we are actually uh, helping our clients to achieve the optimal saving okay using our slash interest methodology uh, and uh, of a paying less but to save more you no need to dump in a lump sum money in order to save Maybe you save just a little money, or maybe uh, you save a lot. So we 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 is a uh, not a uh, not not confirmed. You see when the interest fluctuates, huh? Or uh, when midway when you 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 meet the uncertainties and all that. But in FIS, we tepat tepat let you pay less and you save more, and it's a guarantee. Okay. So ours is a professional who handle your matter, meaning that you transfer. Uh, your problem, your loan problem to FIS and we help you to handle it. Mm. So FIS, this is our service. We do not need to do any refinancing. Now, today you do a refinancing, all right? You have already uh, refinanced and your interest rate has already uh, maybe uh, uh, reduced, maybe from 4% to 3%. What happened after two years, if there is a vaccine and no more COVID-19 and then the interest rate, the, uh, the BLR fluctuate again, increase again. So meaning that you go back to your original position. That's why re refinancing, we no need to do. Okay. Uh, it's not a solution. All right. So we also do not encourage our customer to pay in lump sum because at time if you pay in lump sum, yeah. And then uh, when the interest fluctuates, how much you save, how long the tenure you can shorten. Huh? So it won't be, it's a not definite answer. So you are paying a lump sum money to obtain a answer whereby it's not uh, confirmed. All right, it's not guaranteed. Okay. 
And our service also, there is a no changes in bank and agreement. You no need to change your bank. You no need to change your letter of offer. Okay. So uh, we only uh, provide a ledger, meaning that FIS, actually we are doing a service, just a, a service, your loan service. We are helping you to, to, to pay. We are helping you to do the calculation. We are helping you to solve all the problems and provide you with the ledger for you to make payment. Uh, the correct date and the correct amount. Okay. So we will advise you when and how much to pay and the method of paying, paying to your correctly to your loan account. Okay. And uh, we guarantee 99% accuracy. Now, why is this 99% accuracy is so important? Now, along the way, I've been telling that we can achieve 99% accuracy. If 1% not accurate, we will redo the thing uh, for you for free. Okay, so 99% accuracy is a very, very important so that after our services, our client will be able to check or verify with the bank or with their lender every month the outstanding balance uh, whether it's still verified or not uh, if uh, it's a verified normally our client is a verified uh, no problem uh, until now uh, okay now let's say for example uh the loan amount for the our uh, one of our client is three hundred thousand. the channel 30 years uh, if without the proper manager uh, he buy a house three hundred thousand now. So when his settlement uh, is almost six hundred thousand, as I say, buy one free one uh, Okay, then if he were to collect rental, the it will be thirty years later. You know because the tenor is thirty years uh. Upon finish the loan, I won't say that interest fluctuate uh, Okay, so upon the tenor thirty years finish already, then only he can collect rental from his uh, tenor, and then the. Uh, the risk of the channel will be increased because along the 30 years, uh, there is a fixed, uh, 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 interest fluctuation, there is a uh, uncertainties occurred, we don't know what thing happened. Okay, so because it's a long time, you see. So within the 30 years, if uh, no proper manage on his loan, he maybe can only uh, have one house, own one house only. But let's say, for example, if we compare to uh, uh, customer B, whereby he ha he he has a very proper manage on his loan, so he also same he buy one house three hundred thousand, but upon settlement uh, he pay only four hundred fifty thousand because why the three hundred thousand uh, of the interest are uh, half of it we help him to slash already, so he pay only four hundred fifty thousand he save hundred and fifty thousand on the interest money, alright, and he correct the rental the rental after fifteen years he can correct because. After our services, he no need to pay for 30 years, but he pay for 15 years. The rest of the 15 years, he can just collect rental and then put to the, the money he can collect and put into the pocket. All right. So when we shorten his uh, channel to 15 years, isn't it that his, uh, his uh, risk will be reduced? It's now uh, exposure to all the uh, other risk metal, isn't it? Yeah, so within 30 years, he can actually achieve to have uh, two houses or more. So, and uh, let's say for example, okay, you buy a house 300,000, you do not proper manage, so your settlement 600,000. But I buy a house 300,000, I take a 50% uh, 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 package uh, uh, with the uh, FIS and I settle my uh, property uh, 450,000 only. So me and you is a neighbor. Okay, so you can see the difference or not. You, 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 if you want to sell your house, you need to sell 600,000 because you paying out 600,000, at least you won't be, uh, uh, you, you, you know, no profit also never buy, but you no loss, isn't it? But uh, I can sell my house at 450,000 now because I only pay 450,000 only, I pay less, right? Uh, that's why it, between I and you, a neighbor, I can sell at a lower price. <laughs> If I sell 600, I earn it already. Yeah, so there is a quality assurance in a FIS uh, services. We provide 99% accuracy is for what? As I say, this 99% uh, accuracy is to avoid or uh, is helping our client to avoid 
the huge interest the huge interest loss uh, and the channel being extended let's say for example if your channel extended you need to pay extra money the extra money isn't it your money is your interest money or not oh it's your interest money lo. okay uh. now this i would like to show you is uh, one of our ledger okay the customer been paying 984 per month okay but after our services uh, you see uh, he not paying his uh, 984 he pay 1266 he pay 1268 he pay 1316 okay and uh, what we uh, we clearly uh, give the every month his uh, payment and then we also give the date okay the date he need to pay and then uh, we also give him the end of the month he can verify the amount the outstanding amount so that he can uh, verify with his bank and you can see that clearly that uh, every month we pay all right how much go to the interest portion and how much go to the principal portion and eventually you can see that the interest portion is gradually reduced okay and uh, our principal portion is uh, gradually increased that means more money paid to the principal meaning that outstanding balance is gradually reduced okay when the outstanding is gradually reduced huh, okay then we can see that we can actually uh, shows you that our payment is already correct huh? now let's for example you can see that the first month FIS asking him to pay 1266 and 70 cents. But the second month, uh, we ask him to pay 1268 ringgit and 90 cents. Now, can anybody, if you want to reduce your interest or save your interest by 50% and your tenure by 50%, meaning 30 years become 15 years or 600, uh, the interest money become 300. Uh, can you pay just increase can you using just increase of uh you see less than two ringgit huh? and we can achieve the result that's why i say that we are using a slash interest methodology by paying less but to achieve your optimal saving uh, this is what we say lah. okay so we produce only little you just need to pay accurately or uh, only but the accuracy is not easy because uh, from all this while, uh, uh, the, this customer I met, most of them, the initial expenses, the initial the expenses is all wrong. That's why when after three years, you obtain the key from the developer and then you make payment, you start to make payment. Uh, when your original uh, 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 this, uh, uh, problem is, is not solved yet, then you just uh, pay accordingly to what the bank give you the letter of offer and uh, asking you to pay the monthly installment so much you just follow it's not correct yeah okay so we have to find out what's wrong with your loan at that status first then when we have to find out clarify all the problem then only we have to calculate the amount for you to pay then only that is the correct amount yeah, so it's not easy. And after we come up with the outstanding balance for you to verify with the bank, we also need to check what which bank you are taking and what other bank practice, how they do, and then how they are going to, uh, how we have to teach our customer to make the payment, paying correctly, okay? There are so many complications. It's not so easy, very complicated, okay? Yeah, and uh, you can see that the outstanding balance uh, every month, uh, FIS will provide you every month the ledger, with inside the ledger that is an outstanding balance showing that you actual uh, owes to the lender how much and the uh, end of the month, you can just make a call to your lender asking that is how much actually you're owing to them and then you write down here. And this is the uh, bank statement, okay? The same date, okay, the same month, okay, the same date, uh, it must be the same date uh, at the end of the month, the same date, all right? So the statement balance is 187,650,000, but the ledger, FIS ledger balance uh, is 187,647. So the difference is only three ringgit, okay? 
So the three ringgit, huh, okay, divided by 187,000 here, we actually achieve an accuracy of 99% and 998%. Yeah. So this, remember just now I said, uh, the accuracy is actually to minimize your money loss to your lender. So the accuracy you is the, uh, the, the customer, the borrower have to uh, very cooperate uh, uh, to us because why you need to give us the actual the correct information all right so that we can produce uh, the more accurate we can produce is a uh, more better no? all right so that we minimize your money loss to your lender yeah okay and uh, for this uh, we pay this if you follow the, your lender's uh, instruction you will need to pay 30 years because you have already signed in your letter of offer that you pay for 30 years but after our service we pay for only 15 years yet uh, 15 years but how come our outstanding balance uh, is verified or justified with your hundred uh, your your uh, uh, lenders outstanding balance your financial institution give you the statement and you can check your statement your statement every month is same with us, but yours is paying 30 years. Ours is paying 15 years. How come it be the same? I, I'm 15 years only, but how come I want the same? Ah, oh, meaning that our calculation, our payment is correct. No? So these are all the magical number. Okay. Ah, uh, tonight, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Tonight, ah, uh, as a token appreciation to our speed home uh, audience huh? so we will do for you a estimated payment report uh, which worth 388 ringgit for free for you if you when you submit your document okay yeah so what you need to do is uh yeah you no need to pay lah. yeah so especially for our uh, speed home uh, customer so what you need to do is that uh, uh, later you have to fill in a google form uh, that uh, this uh, mr tan will be sharing on our chat box huh? okay yeah. so you will have to uh, you will have to feel uh, mr tan you want to talk uh? <laughs> uh, actually I, I i just want to say that i actually uh, posted the link in the chat box already so oh. if anyone you guys uh, want the free loan analysis uh, from FIS management, you guys can fill in the form. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And then need to yeah. click click. Yep. Uh, I already posted the link in, in the chat box. You, you guys uh, can fill in the Google form. Uh. And then after that, uh, the personnel from the FIS management will be engaged with you guys. Uh -huh. Ah yeah. ha yes but 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 uh, uh, please uh, fill in uh, this uh, your referrals name and the uh, bracket platform uh, which platform maybe is from uh, speed home or maybe it's from fis uh, so that we can have a one-to-one -one consultation for you in case you have uh, anything to uh, uh, any question for your loan you need to ask for your loan you need to clear any doubts uh. can uh? okay yeah, yeah so sure. we'll have a one uh, one to one consultation for you so dreams of a debt free life uh, doesn't work uh, unless you take action which i feel that uh, at this moment uh, after listen now uh, then you decided to take action and this moment you are on the right path to your uh, debt free uh, life okay uh, so this is my uh, presentation uh, i will end here and then uh, i hope that it's uh, all beneficial to you all and then later we have we'll have our q and a i will pass it to uh, mr tan uh. okay uh. mr tan uh. yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's how uh, someone said that uh, the google form link is not working so i will be sending another link and you guys uh, try to see is it uh, working or not okay i already sent the second link okay you guys find it out okay actually uh during uh the presentation of our guest speaker right so asking that uh why there's no uh method shown by our guest speaker to help them resolve their uh, loan and uh, their, their loan issues but then uh, actually 
uh, this loan is very case by case basis, uh, which is uh, affected by the person who take out the loan itself. So that uh, there's no a common method to resolve the loan. Yeah, oh. you have to provide uh, those details information to our uh, guest speaker, FIS management first, and then they will help you to analyze by free and they will uh, suggest you how you can optimize your loan and op optimize your fund, the cash. Oh, bingo, Mr. Tan, very yeah. good. <laughs> okay. Very good, very okay. good answer to that is a bingo. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's uh, move on to the Q&A session. But before that, uh, I want to promote uh, Speed Home first. So currently we are having a one promotion where if you are a landlord and you post your property in Speed Home, so we will actually uh, help you to list up your property in Speed Home and then you receive a RN28 uh, Great Food Voucher. So if any landlords uh, in the webinar, you would like to post your property in Speed Home, and then uh, you can just click the link at the at, at that and you can just register information and then we can we can tra uh, keep track from there mm. all right so let's move on to the q a session let me show my screen yeah Okay, I hope you guys can see my screen, right? Can you guys see my screen? Hello. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, move on to the first question. So the first question is from uh, Bernard Chu. So he's asking that, uh, what is the best way to consolidate the loan with multiple properties? Consolidate yeah. loan with the multi multiple properties. Multiple property consolidate loan multiple property. Mm. <clears throat> How you want to do? Uh, okay, let's say for example you have a uh, multiple property and then uh every property it has a, a letter of offer by itself how to consolidate mm. okay so mm. so uh yeah. the to Bernard Chu is a bit hard Bernard, 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 okay Bernard, yeah. uh, thank you for your uh mm. thank you for your question uh, Bernard, uh. i hope yeah. i answer to you but if uh uh you, 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 you see how huh? if you not understand then we again huh? if, you, if you need more details uh, if you need more uh, maybe details you can sign up your form and then uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah 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 mm. and then uh, they will help you to, uh, to understand it uh, more better <laughs> why uh, you cannot uh, consolidate the loan with multiple properties yeah better that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> because it's a bit a bit uh, long-winded to explain it here yeah okay. correct correct it's true Okay, so let's move on to the second question from uh, Jomon. So currently the rent are not enough to handling the loan. What type of suggestion could advise? Uh, you mean the rent is not enough to handle the loan, meaning that the rental you receive is uh, only one uh, only uh, one thousand, but you need to pay one thousand five for your uh, monthly installment, is it? Mm. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's the meaning from this at end this. Uh, Oh, okay. Increase the rent. <laughs> 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 no, la. Uh, jo, jo mo, uh, okay. Very good answer. But uh, normally, if uh, these type of uh, cases happen, uh, we will actually uh, advise our customer that you take on our service, uh, then you can actually earn more. Because why? Now, right now, uh, jo mo, your uh, this uh, tenor is how long? Let's say, for example, your tenor now is uh, 30 years. Uh, huh? Okay, so if uh, 30 years uh, after our service, uh, you pay for only 15 years only. Well, all right, so let's say, for example, uh, your, your, loan, uh, you, your, your loan is higher. You need to pay a monthly of uh, uh, 1,500 ringgit. And then, but you collected is only 1,000. Uh, for the time being, you cannot cope with your pay. Maybe you have to extra take out 500 uh, from your pocket, right? 
yeah so this is a uh, short term only lah all right let's say for example if you take out fis service huh, we'll be able to help you even though you pay more a little bit but pay more pay correctly but uh, let's say for example your loan is a uh, 300 000. so your interest will be saved 150 000, you know so for the time being maybe you pay out a little bit more but you shorten your channel in the end of the day uh, after 15 years, what whatever rental that you collect uh, is all 100% go into the pocket. Let's say, for example, uh, one month is only 1,005 you collect uh, or, or only 1,000. If a 1,005 uh, for 15 years, we can save for you. Uh, 1,005, 15 years, uh, 270,000, you know, goes into your pocket. Isn't it it's a good income for you? Don't look for the small money, you know, look for the big money. Yeah. Yeah. It's better to look uh, in a long term way. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just by proper manage only. And then you got no loss also. You got no loss, even though now you pay a little bit, uh, but then no loss uh, because COVID 19, never mind. Uh. <laughs> mm. Okay, so let's move on to the third question from uh, Dira. So uh, she is asking that uh, usually developers have their own panel bankers. Can we still use the external uh, mortgage companies? Okay, normally uh, we are not banker, huh, Dira. Uh, I think you got a little bit uh, misunderstanding on that because we are not banker. You have to use your developer banker first. Then after taking uh, this uh, loan from the bank, then only you can come to FIS because uh, uh, everybody, you cannot, we cannot pay cash, all right or not? Yeah, if we pay cash, uh, anytime the LH DN will co go after us, isn't it? So you need to get a loan from the bank first. Then upon you get a loan from the bank, but of course you before you take the loan, it's better that if you can, uh, either you can consult us. Uh, there is a free consultation for you. So don't take the wrong uh, loan uh, because some loans we really cannot help you to slash the interest. Uh. Yeah, so you have to take the correct loan. Uh. Okay. So uh, there's a question from uh, Jomon. Uh, with advanced payment, not reduced principal will help. He's asking that uh, would this matter, uh, method uh, would help in uh, reducing the loan issues. Okay, Jomo, I can let you uh, understand that uh, most of our customers, uh, they actually dump in money. And then uh, uh, the dump in money, they actually pay to the advanced account. Because sometimes you need to, uh, I have to see your your, your bank, which bank. Uh, because sometimes uh, due to the terms and conditions that you have already signed, uh, some banks, uh, you have to notify them when you want to pay extra money. You have to inform the bank that you are going to pay to the principal. So I don't know which one, uh, which category you have already for. But uh, I can tell you very frankly that uh, uh, I have a client. Okay, I have a client just today only. Huh? All right, it's an Indian client. Uh, his, uh, his loan is uh, 2013. Uh, today is 2021. Huh? How many years already paid? Huh? At least uh, eight years. Huh? Huh? Okay, so uh, his uh, loan, uh, the letter of offer asking him to pay per month is 956 ringgit only. But he every month since the day one he pay is a uh, 1000. That means he pay more he pay more in order to achieve uh, interest saving, all right? So uh, all this while, he thought that he left only uh, seven years. So even though uh, he take our service, huh, he also take our service and then uh, three years to finish, we give him three years to finish, he has already made the, pay the money. And uh, due to his one is a CIMB term loan, huh? so we need to know that the exact figure that he is paying, all this while he don't know. And yesterday he went to the bank and asked for the correct figure. The bank said uh, actually he need to pay is only 400. 400, mm -hmm. I'm just imagine. Uh, from 900 something now is a 400. Uh. So uh, uh, the, the, uh, all those money that he paid, the banker told him that all those money that he extra pay because he always pay 1000. Uh, the extra uh, money that he paid is all went to the advance account. All right. So the customer now only realized that uh, what we say is true, okay? And then uh, he he said that he will be shared to his uh, friend and then uh, he tell the banker that he want to the exact payment. The banker said give him three days to work out what is the exact payment that he need to uh, come up with, you see? So if let's say, for example, if the customer didn't meet our advisor, isn't it that the customer thought that after that he can finish his loan? 
So now we predicted that his loan is no more three years can finish. It should be longer because his one is a seven years. Ma. So we have to redo all the ledger for him. But we're waiting for the bank's information now. Yeah. So let's say, for example, uh, Jomoa, you pay advance payment. Can you really understand or can you really check that your money, that you pay extra money to the advance account, whether it really reduce your interest or not? Yeah. So always, in fact, most of my customer is facing the same problem. You put in extra money, how much you save? You put in extra money, how many months you can save? Yeah. This is the knowledge, this is the knowledge already. Yeah. yeah. So maybe if you want to know more, then you can just sign out their form and then uh, they will help you with a free consultation to analyze your, your loan and then they will give you some suggestion that you can do. Right? All yeah. Right. yeah, definitely. So, because then, uh, at that time, we can see your document. Uh, we can understand all the whole situation. We can yeah. analyze for you. Yeah. yeah, that will be better. Yeah. Okay, so right. another question from uh, Wing Shen Tan. Uh, is this because the installment amount suggested by bank cost this? Uh, shouldn't now Bank Negra has set up rules that now installment amount, how much ratio that, how much uh, should go for principal reduction? Means that I think uh, he is uh, saying that, uh, is there a rules uh, set up by Bank Negra to help this? No. Mm, Winston, no. Uh, yeah. Um, Winston, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because uh, uh, all these people, they are also making money. Lah. Yeah. Mm. So the I can say that the number that he said uh, is not the actual uh, figure. That's why mm. when you pay the wrong figure, that means uh, most of your money will drag to the interest portion and the little uh, of your money will go to the principal portion. And almost 99% is all like that. Mm, okay. Mm. Yep. So maybe you can set up their service and then they will suggest you. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 100%. Move, on, move on to uh, S. Yong. So uh, does that mean paying extra every month does not reduce the loan, the loan principle? Yeah, I think uh, as uh, our guest speaker said just now, it contributes to the loan uh, interest and not the principle. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. We have to see the situation, Mr. Tan. Uh, let's say uh, like uh, Mr. Xiong. Uh, okay. He said that the extra payment, extra payment, uh, he cannot reduce the interest. No, we cannot say that. There is no right or wrong. Sometimes the customer, they might put in extra money. But when they put in extra money, you must see the situation at, the, at that time. The, the interest is high or low. Or maybe mm -hmm. is there any certain uncertainties occurred in your loan? Uh, because the uh, in the individual is all different facing the different problem mm. so when you just simply dump in the money all right then you thought that you can save what happened if it cannot save but like mm. most of our customer they dump in 180 000, uh, they, hung, they dump in 250 000. Uh, like just now you see the the the, the cases that are showing they dump mm. in how much uh, over a million eh? then yeah. how come that the money is not safe and in fact the it, the, the the tenor is extended Mm. Mm. you want to take the risk or not let's yeah. say for example if within the 10 days you can know never mind what happened if after 30 years then you find out that now now you're taking the loan you're 30 years old already after 30 years uh, you are 60 years old but at that time 60 years old then you feel you, you at that time you're facing the, the 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 your loan being extended maybe 10 years or 20 years oh 70 years old then you can finish that 17 years now, uh, we want to jalan jalan now, uh, here, there, we go already, uh, angin already uh, what for we want to pay this sub debts, isn't it? That's yeah. why uh, proper manage is very, very important. We must have the certainty, like we're doing the account uh, every month, credit debit, we have to know how much we profit, how much we lost, isn't it? We cannot say how I dump it 100 over 1000 and then I just waiting for the aga aga whether I can uh, understand, whether I can get the answer or what happened if the answer is not like what you think? then you are wasting your time and your money. What for? Why not you don't want to take your, you can take your other money, your extra money, you can pay for other investment. Then your mm -hmm. return will be more, meaning that you put your money at the right portion, then you can earn back more money. Ah, you see, yeah. rather than you are uh, dump into the loan there and you are working for your money. Why not you make, you don't want to make your money work for you. Mm. You yeah, see? True. Yeah. yeah. This is agreed by one of our attendees also. Uh, you can see the chat box, uh, Jacqueline. Yeah, oh, yeah? so she, she said that uh, exactly. 
I use I, I don't want to say what bank lah, but then uh she take out some loan and then yeah. uh pay more only will go to advance payment Ooh. to the to be deducted next month. Yeah. Quite many times those also cannot resolve the issue lah. So yeah, that's so. the 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 real cases that shared by our attendees lah. Oh yeah, thank you Jacqueline. <laughs> thank you for your sharing. And in fact, because this uh, after so many years of our experience, uh, we have been uh, meeting so many clients whereby they dump in money. And then uh, sometimes I just tell them, no, why you want to dump in so much money? Uh, which I feel that I see uh, is really something. Uh, <laughs> why not you go and don't want to go for other investment? It's not that I, I say that your your money means uh, uh, you are wrong. No, no, no. It's a matter. It's a met, met, method whether you want to earn more money we are using a very small money to earn a big money and better ma, isn't it? <laughs> True. So yeah. uh, there's a question from uh, SN Choi. So overdraft uh, mortgage uh, versus fixed term mortgage, uh, which one is better? Uh, again, uh, I, I didn't listen to uh, SN Choi. Okay, sorry, uh, overdraft uh, mortgage uh -huh. uh, versus fixed term uh, mortgage. Oh, overdraft mortgage, better, yeah. huh? mm -hmm. overdraft mortgage, uh, fixed term oh definitely the fixed term mortgage is a better la. but i can mm -hmm. tell you uh this uh essentia uh, uh fixed mortgage now is a bit hard to get la. so unless your financial background is very strong then only they give you a fixed loan la. if not uh, they won't give you la. don't use the overdrive la. because why i've been seeing so many victims uh, they are using the overdraft uh, whereby their loan is a never-ending loan yeah so even though if a fixed loan uh, i want to advertise my one a bit uh, fixed loan i can help you to save a lot of interest also even though it's a fixed loan uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. so uh, let's move on to the s young again so what is the basis for maybank uh, adding uh, 185 more monthly instrument i think uh, she is referring to the case to the root pieces just now uh okay what is the what does it mean paying extra every month oh no uh what is the basis uh the question number eight oh. what's the basis for maybank adding uh 185 more money installment oh okay you mean that uh, after our services and uh, we uh managed to help the customer to reduce the loan to 185 months and uh how much is our payment is it uh per month is it is it this is the question I also not too sure. Uh, uh, if S Young is still there, maybe you can provide more explanation uh, in the chat box. Yeah. Uh, let, so let's move on to the next question first. Okay. So uh, from uh, Zhang, uh, when when extension of installment period, my bank didn't inform the borrower. How do we check the extension or not? Oh, oh, Zhang. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Zhang Zia. Mm. Okay, uh. okay, when extension of installment period, uh, oh, the bank won't tell you because why? Uh, in fact, uh, they want to tell you uh, this is a very tough work for them because why? Our work is our work a concern already. It's a very tedious work. So if the bank, they were to uh, inform you, uh, they have to recalculate all your thing and then they, they, they let you know. Which that uh, I feel that because as I say, it's all, they are all also on commercial, uh, they won't give you the accurate one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we are actually sitting at the opposite side as a bank because we help you to do the calculation and we help you to save the interest uh, by uh, providing you a correct payment for you. So even though this one, we have to sit down to see all, all your documents and then uh, our professional people they will have to take sometimes uh, uh, there is just uh, one loan itself uh, we take about 16 days you know sometimes one loan itself uh, we take about more than one month due to mm -hmm. sometimes uh, they won't show anything you know so we have to find uh, because uh, we have to understand that uh, uh, we are the third party FIS is a third party that uh, our loan borrowers have already have a contract with the, uh, their, their lender so the contract has has already signed so all those contracts we don't know so we have to need to buy in and then we have to come in to understand all the the the, the standard thing and then we have to provide with the solution then only we can settle your problem that's why mm -hmm. yeah so it's not so easy they won't just say okay extension of the these uh interest increase uh, i give you uh that's why uh, uh, later they say uh, extension of the uh, this uh, uh, loan channel, okay, uh, they won't let you know because they won't know. Yeah. 
Okay, so I actually included a, a link of the SIF management uh, consultation service once more. So that, uh, if you guys want to consult about your loan, you can just click the link and you set up. So uh, as Xiong actually uh, provide more explanation already. So she said that uh, just now Joanne explained that uh, I think uh, original installment was 196 installment. But after FIS analy analysis, found that found that there are plus uh, there are more than uh, 185 installment more and yeah. 50 plus years more. So mm -hmm. maybe you can provide uh, more explanation on this. Um. Okay. Now. Uh. Okay. I think just now if you see the 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 the, the script uh, originally the customer actually uh, for a 1.3 million loan actually the customer need to pay 7000 and uh, 7006 about that okay 7006 per month yeah the installment but due to the customer dump in money dump in money so the system captured the bank system captured that uh, this customer is uh, uh, dumping a lot of money and then the outstanding balance become lesser all right, so the system automatically come up that asking him to revise his uh, 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 loan uh, repayment, every monthly repayment to 5,052 ringgit, remember? So 5,052 ringgit, then the, the, after that, this customer uh, take, uh, put in money and take out, take out another 200,000, take out another 191,000, all right? So when this thing happen, the outstanding balance become increased already. The money take up, huh? your outstanding balance become higher already. Huh? So when your outstanding become higher, so at this moment, at this status, that's why we, we have to depend on your status. Huh? At this status, at this moment where the customer come in, huh? all right, we calculated for him. So our estimated payment report, it shows that if you were paying at the 5,000, this amount, which is supposed to pay at 7,009, now your loan will be extended to 100 and another 185 months, then only you can complete your loan. Yeah, you see? Yeah, so this is the thing happened. No? Uh, am I answer to you, uh, this, uh, Young? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, that's answer, answer her question. Mm. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So I found out that uh, actually there are some uh, some questions already answered before. So I will just uh, skip that and then I move to the question that uh, did not answer before. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's move on to the third question from uh, Joseph. Does this apply to conventional loan only uh, or Islamic loan too? Does this apply to conventional loan only or Islamic? Mm -hmm. Okay, all loans we can help you to do. All mm -hmm. loans. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, we cannot, uh, we got no solution for the Islamic loan. Uh, but uh, recently, or uh, last uh, last uh, five years, uh, we have already, uh, we, we got the solution for the, especially the Islam, Islamic loan, uh, because Islamic loan is not so transparent. Uh. So uh, we even achieve 99% uh, accuracy, all right, on the Islamic loan. But we have to see your document first, uh, because, uh, uh, even though we say that we promise that we can uh, help you to do, but some Islamic loan we can achieve for only 90%. Yeah, because something is a different, but we try to help. Normally, our operation, we will try to help. Okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah. there's another question about, about uh, your company, FIS Consultation. Mm -hmm. So they're asking that uh, what the consultation service charges like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for the FIS services, uh, we are actually uh, depending on your loan amount, your uh, loan outstanding balance amount. So before our customer, uh, they uh, send to us their document, uh, we cannot have the definite uh, uh, answer on the how much to charge you. So the customer need to pass us the document first. Uh, but ours is a, 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 this, um, uh, it's a professional fee, uh, actually. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a standardized uh, professional fee, uh, so they yes. wouldn't... They, they wouldn't uh, suddenly charge you a lot of, oh, no. of, of, the, of the fees. Yeah. No, so, no, it's a standard thing. Yeah. yeah. So you guys don't need worry, yeah? No worry. <laughs> <laughs> and we got promotion too at this time. <laughs> we got promotion too. Uh, yes. If you, you are joining the webinar and then you set up the form there, uh, mm -hmm. they can help you to review your loan for free. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, not reduce your loan for free. We actually free. do a estimated payment uh, report for you for free, okay. which is worth uh, 388 ringgit. Mm. So uh, yeah, so <laughs> if you, you come in, at least you know your loan situation first then only for you to decide whether you want to do it or not it's still up to you there is no obligation at all yeah. mm, okay. no, <laughs> okay. so uh chan chen we actually asked that uh currently bank is using base rate instead of uh basic lending rate any case on the base rate okay now uh in the year uh before 2015 uh, all uh, we use is the BLR. All the bank use is the BLR rate. After 2015, okay, uh, bank changed to base rate, which is more even more complicated and it fluctuates more. So base rate and BLR rate actually is almost the same. It's only that uh, last time our BLR doesn't fluctuate so frequent. But if a BR rate fluctuates a lot, okay, so if a BLR, we are using the BLR rate to minus the spread rate that's all and uh, if a br we're using the br to plus the spread rate that's all <laughs> so oh. uh yeah so you yeah, yeah, have to uh let them analyze first lah, and then uh they can uh, provide you a more detailed solution mm. so uh, there's a question uh for if uh, the property is for rental purpose or investment purpose uh, is that uh, FIS solution is uh, still relevant and is there a need to reduce the tenor uh, of mortgage? Oh, no need. As long as you have a letter of offer, as long as you have a property, we can help you to do it. But provided that you must provide for us your document first. Mm -hmm. So let us check whether uh, 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 we can help you to do it. But uh, mostly we can do it uh, at, now, uh, at the time now. Uh, we will find out the solution for you. No worry. So uh, there's a question from uh, Tam Sao Fun. Okay, so if the property is still is for rental purpose, is there still a need to reduce the tenor of mortgage? So uh, our guest speaker already shared just now. If you if the you you take up the FIS management service and then uh, you reduce your tenor of mortgage and then uh, you can gain the profit faster lah. You can get a profit faster from your property itself. Oh, very good. So uh, very good. Oh, <laughs> okay. very good, Mr. Tan. I really like you. <laughs> okay, you you. Very I good also. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you benefited more if you if you rent out, uh, you can extra earn a lot of money. Oh. As I mm. said just now, if your your loan is a uh, 30 years, and then after our services, uh, uh, FIS services, uh, you pay for only 15 years. So. Let's say if uh, the, the balance of the 15 years, uh, if you correct the rental only 1,005, uh, you extra earn 270,000. If you collect only 1,000, uh, you extra earn uh, 180,000. Eh. Yeah, true. Oh, pocket money, back to back to your pocket money. Uh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a question from uh, Aiden Tan. Uh, uh, Aiden Tan. So uh. is this method really cash flow friendly? Definitely. Let's say, for example, uh, even though uh, like, like this uh, depends on individual. Uh, let's say, for example, some people may say that I'm using the bank's money to, uh, I, why, why should I pay more, isn't it? But if you're thinking in terms of that, if you pay more just a little bit, you didn't pay all, more a lot, you just top up a little bit, uh, accurate, we want is accurate. And then uh, you can benefit from there. Why not, isn't it? But some people, they will say that, oh, no, uh, I want to use the bank money. I don't want to pay more. I just want to drag, drag, drag. But drag, uh, in the end of the day, you pay a lot of the interest work. Or unless uh, some of them, they say maybe in the short time, I can, I can, I can sell up. I can sell up and then I, I can I can earn the money lah. Oh, so it's a depends actually. Yeah. yeah. As uh, Mr. Tang say, oh, so you can uh, take your thing and then we can uh, sit down and then uh, to have uh, because some people they have a uh, 30 over loans, you know. So we have to see which place is which one is your prime location and then which one you to keep, which one you to do our uh, uh, services and all that. So we can sit down and analyze for you. Yeah, this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Uh. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So uh, from Iris Kang, uh, if I want to save more than uh, 50, I think it's a uh, 50%, uh, 
50% uh, interest and tenor, is it possible? Oh, definitely it's a possible. Definitely it's a possible. We can even save up to 75%. Uh. Let's say, but we have to see the client's uh, financial background situation, whether they can top up more or not. All right, because when you take a 75%, even though your interest, you can save more and the channel, maybe 30 years, huh, you pay only seven and a half years, you pay finish already. But then uh, is that uh, whether you can make the payment or not, that's why we have to sit down with the, our client to see their uh, financial background, whether how much they want, but we will advise them also. Lah. Mm. Okay, so it's a very personal basis. Lah. They have to yeah. analyze your loan first and then they can, only then they can tell you more. Okay. So the, the last question from uh, Jessica. So my property is still under construction. Can I engage uh, FIS service? Oh, definitely can because why? Uh, your loan is under construction. We have uh, many clients, their loan is under construction, but we have already asked them to uh, make the payment already. First thing, the customer, whether they uh, they want to make payment or not, because definitely uh, the, 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 uh, this uh, lender uh, they, in, in front, uh, they have to check whether you got the ability to pay or not. So if you were to uh, pay under, uh, still under construction, if you were to pay, you have to uh, write to the bank to request, uh, see whether they allow you to pay. But better that you have to show some uh, evidence that uh, your income is good uh, and then you got the capability to pay. Uh, so, and then uh, then you can engage our service already. And in fact, huh, during construction time, if you can pay, uh, you can save more. Especially now the interest is so low. Pay now, why you want to pay later? Yeah, so today there is a customer, they actually want to write to the bank. I, I, I teach them to write to the bank. Uh, and then uh, one of the reasons I say that uh, is that uh, now during the, at this time, the interest is so less, uh, so, li so, so low. Uh, I want to make payment first off because I got the ability to pay. I don't want to wait until the interest go higher than only I make payment. Yeah, so it's a very good choice. Uh, you can even save more. All right. Yeah, Jessica. Uh, yeah, so Jessica, you heard that. I, uh, I see that uh, Jessica is actually typing. So maybe uh, there, there is a uh, much more question from, from her. Lah. But then, oh. okay, let's uh, see uh, one question from our chat box. Why must be a create? Uh, can't pay more than proposed sum? Okay. Yeah, hit uh, hit uh, okay, okay, why must be accurate? Oh, accurate is very, very important. If you pay more, your accuracy will run. So you better uh, follow as what uh, our ledger, we will pro after taking our service, uh, we will provide a ledger for you to follow. You have to follow every single cent that our figure that we give you. Because if you were to simply pay, it's also can, there is no right or wrong. But it's only that eventually, uh, the money pay, uh, it will gradually, uh, uh, when you, uh, 30 days later, when you call to the bank to check your outstanding balance, uh, the, the, the outstanding balance could, uh, you know, uh, the, the, your lender there will be a bit higher and higher, it will slowly run, uh, yeah, the accuracy. Meaning that more and more money you pay to your lender, uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. Even though that you pay more, uh, we have already got experience on that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, actually now the time is uh, 1017. We already exceed uh, our time very much. I think uh, perhaps this is uh, the last question that uh, our guest speaker can answer. Uh. So if you guys want to know more, just uh, click the link that I share in the chat box just now, the Google form. And then after that, uh, you submit your information there and the personnel from the FIS management uh, will be contacting you. Okay, yeah, so... and I can see here, Mr. Tan, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Hitler Lim said that, uh, but he can save more technically. La. Yeah, Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Lim, uh, although that uh, definitely that you pay more, logically you will feel that you can pay more. But the thing is that uh, to our experience, uh, when we pay more, Actually, uh, uh, your outstanding balance, uh, it could be more when the interest are uh, increasing for the past 10 years, you know. So mm -hmm. those are our clients, they are facing all those problems. That's why we do not encourage you to pay more. We encourage you to pay accurate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. the accuracy is very important yes. in order to help you save your money. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, Mr. Okay. Lima. Okay. So I think uh, we come to, a, to the end of our session. So let me... Uh, once more about a uh, speed home promotion where if you post your property in speed home, you will get uh, we'll help you to list up your 
city in Spiho, and then uh, you get a iron tangerine gate great voucher. Okay, so <laughs> I so I thank you very much for uh, uh FIS management, uh Jenna Tan uh, for today's sharing. Uh, it's very very fruitful and very eye-opening for me. Yeah, because uh, I'm still uh, a fresh graduate from the uh, from the university. So it's I learned a lot from this lah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's all uh, from Speed Home and FIS management. So if you guys want to know more about how you can save up your loan, you can just uh, wait, let me share once again. You guys can just uh, click up this link and then register there and they will be in contact with you. So that's all from our session. Yeah, all right. thank you. Huh? Thank you. All right. So uh, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Thank you to you also. Bye-bye. <laughs>